So we are in Coveron. We got here from Manila. We took a bus and a ferry, which is a very long journey. We rented a scooter and it cost us 500 pesos for the day. We just chucked some petrol in it and we just put like 50 pesos in there. Gave us a couple of bars. So I think that should be sweet for today. And we're starting the day off. Well, I say starting the day off. We just had a smoothie bowl actually from a cafe which was very very nice and this isn't the start of the hike no. <laughs> so the plan was to go on a hike up to way. mount tapus but i'm not sure we've actually found the start of the hike so well we thought we found the start of the hike up the mountain but we didn't but we have found it now so yeah just loads of steps going up i don't know, I think it's too much of a hike it is just i think like 700 and 20 steps steps yeah both got our flip-flops and slides on but it only takes 15 minutes apparently so not too bad 720 one two is that step three we we have made it to the top of mount typus oh it's the heart rate going for sure and there's well. one person up here so yeah i'm not sure it's a very popular thing to do at midday oh i can see why but you've got this cross here as philippines is mostly catholic so that's why they have kind of like crosses compared to maybe buddhas that you might see in other countries and this is the back of the koron sign which all lights up at night. It looks really, really pretty, doesn't it? Very nice. Ooh. Jumped on the scooter. It's about 15 minutes from Clarence Town, and we've come down to Cabo Beach. Looks not too bad, doesn't it? I think a dip is needed after that hike and getting sweaty. Ooh. Feels good. This beach actually looks so good with all the mountains in the background. Very, very cool. And we have to pay 50 pesos each to come into this beach. Well, I must admit, that's not the nicest sea I've been in. There was loads of seaweed in there, but still pretty decent for a dip and a good place to come and relax if you're in Caron, as Caron can yeah, be a bit hectic, but there's not that many people down here. So yeah, it takes you away from the hustle and bustle come down to Siete Pocados which translates into seven islands and you can get a private boat over to do a bit of snorkeling and it's only 300 pesos each I mean that's an absolute bargain it's for two hours as well unfortunately we didn't bring our snorkels out thank you didn't bring our snorkels with us so we've had to hire some and they were 100 each this looks like our boat <laughs> We've got our boat and we've got our captain behind us. Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> yes. He's taking us to the first spot. Looks lovely. Lovely and blue down there. <laughs> Today is Macquinet Hot Springs. This is a natural saltwater hot spring here in Garan. Our entry is 300 pesos each. You can see the hot spring here. The sun is absolutely shining. So I'm not sure how I feel about getting into a hot spring when it's really hot. It's been an interesting experience. I'll tell you what, that hot spring was a lot better than what I thought. It feels really hot when you first get in there, but then it's really nice after that. I feel so relaxed. Yeah, it is very relaxing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I also feel like when I'm in a, like I couldn't sit in a pool for ages and I felt a little bit cold, but with that, it's just nice to chill. Yeah. Very nice spot to come and relax, I'd say. 
Good morning, Koron. We're down the port this morning after being woken up so early by like a band playing all drums and loads of music going off. And that was uh, like half six in the morning. Absolutely ridiculous. Everyone in, in the hostel was like, well, at least you don't need to set an alarm clock now. So yeah, ridiculous, wasn't it? It was, I honestly thought it was like, this is sound really bad, but I thought it was like cold. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, like, and then there was music before that, yeah. and it was the bin men just blasting music while they were doing the rubbish. And I was like, Jesus Christ. But I did get us up early, so. Today we're doing a Rex and Reefs boat trip all day, and it cost us, or it has cost us, 1,400 pesos each. Is that right today? First stop for us today is a sunken ship from World War II, and this has been sunk for 40, no, 40, 60 years. Uh, I think the tip, like the front end of the boat, is quite kind of shallow, but the back end is very, very deep. So, yeah, pretty excited to check it out. There goes Beth with her fins on. So the mask, I actually bought a snorkel yesterday. I've had the goggles for a while, but I thought I'd actually go for the snorkel as it actually makes it so much easier. So, yeah, excited to try it out. Absolutely beautiful, Beth's buzzing. I'm <laughs> so happy to be here. I've seen this, I've been flying. It's so nice, especially with the palm trees as well. Unbelievable. I'm ready for a bit of lunch. Would you just look at this? This is like paradise. Well, it is paradise, it's not like paradise. It is absolutely paradise. Beth's loving it. <laughs> Oh, would you look at this spread we got? Beautiful. Second stop after lunch is a coral garden and he said there's apparently a school of turtles, so I'm sure Beth will be on the hunt for those. boat trip in Caron. That boat trip yesterday, really, really enjoyed it. It was called Reefs and Wrecks. If you want to do something similar and what did we pay? We paid 1,400 each for that for the day. So pretty reasonably priced I'd say. And it was good to see some wrecks. Something different when you're snorkeling rather than just coral and fish. So yeah, we definitely recommend checking that one out. And today, and so y yesterday, sorry, that was a like joiners tour. So we with like random people, but today we've got a private boat. And that's where we've come to is Kanyagan Lake. I think that's how you say it. And it is a mix of fresh water and salt water. I believe it's 70% fresh and 30% salt. And it is beautiful. And this one has cost us 2,000, I think 500 each. It's a little bit more expensive, but there is only six of us on the boat. This is the actual lake and you have to wear a life jacket when you're in here. I think it's to stop people from going down to the bottom and touching it, I guess. But apparently they're quite strict on it. So I'm worried. Next up for us today is Twin Lagoon and life jackets again. Unfortunately, but I got the flippers on and my snorkel as well. So yeah, yesterday I had to go and change my snorkel as it was broken. So I've got another new one today. Little stop now on this very beautiful little beach. With crystal clear blue waters for a spot of lunch. Absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. Final stop of the day is Barracuda Lake. And there's one barracuda in here, so could see him. Apparently, he's pretty friendly, so not gonna get eaten today. Is 
now till I'm complete in Koron. I recommend you spend around three days here. You can go and do the hike to the hot springs on one day and then on the other two, you could do a boat trip or something like that. That is definitely the main thing to do here is a boat trip or if you're into diving, then you can do a bit of diving. I also recommend checking out Outpost Hostel. We didn't stay there, but we went there on one night and it's got a lovely rooftop bar with a pool and yeah, a very social vibe. So if that's what you're into, then check out Outpost Hostel. Koron's pretty cool. It's a, like a small little town, plenty of restaurants and plenty of things to keep you entertained. But we are heading now on a three day expedition. We're going from Koron to El Nido, island hopping and all that good stuff on the way. So if you want to see that, then make sure you keep an eye out on the channel for that video. We're currently backpacking around Southeast Asia in the Philippines now, plenty of good content to come. So make sure you subscribe.